to another video. And in today's video, we're going to learn some more vocabulary. Let's get started. Today's vocabulary is related to shops and stores. As you all know, shops and store has the same meaning. But stores, most Americans use that. And for shops, some English people usually use that too. So the difference between store and shop Store is in American English, and shop is in British English. So let's get started, shall we? We're going to learn so many shops, so many stores, and guess what? We're going to have to define which is American English and which is British English. Let's have some fun, shall we? Let's get started. First, we have a look at the word store and shop. So here, store is in American English, and shop is in British English. But sometimes, American English use the word shop to relate it to some kind of smaller shop that sells a specific item, like clothes or hat or boutique, maybe. We've got this type of shop. This is the bookshop or the bookstore. Again, bookstore is American English, and bookshop is in British English. That's the difference. You can either use bookstore or bookshop. And this type of store sells lots of books. All types of books you can find in the bookstore. Here is a butcher. A butcher is like a small store. And they sell lots of meat. Many kinds of meat. A butcher. They can sell sausage too. Oh, delicious. This is called a bakery. A bakery is a place where they make all kinds of bread, cakes, or sweets. This is a barber shop in American English, but in British English, we may call this batters, as we will see next year. So here is the barber shop or barbers in British English, a place where men usually go and cut their hair. But a place where a woman goes is called a hair salon in American English and a hairdresser in British English. You see the difference. A barber's or a barber store or a barber shop is the place where men usually go and cut their hair. But a hair salon or a hairdresser's is the place where a woman usually go there and have their hair trimmed, cut, or dyed. Just like me, I just have my hair washed. So that's the hair salon and the hairdresser's. The difference between the barber and the hair salon. Here is the cafe. Lots of people go to cafe to have some coffee, tea, or all the pastry. I love eating pastry at the cafe. In, in British English, we may call this coffee shop. Or in American English, we will call this coffee house. Coffee shop or coffee house. If you love eating candy, you must go to the candy shop, American English right here. Or in British English, we call it a sweet shop, as you can see. Lots and lots of types of sweets are displayed, and you can let as much as you like. So candy and sweet are the same meaning, but usually people in American said candy, and in British we say sweet. So candy shop or sweet shop. Depends on you, either you like candy or sweet. This is a clothing store. A clothing store or a clothes store. Clothing stores in American English and clothes store is in British English. Sells many kinds of clothes. Dresses. But a boutique is also a clothes store. But it's like maybe they also sell handbags or one kind of designed shirt. That's why we call this boutique. A pharmacy is where we buy some medicine, medicine. Or a drugstore. A drugstore is just like a pharmacy, but it's bigger than a pharmacy. A drugstore sells you drugs some medicine, and other kinds of product, like beauty product maybe. That's why we call it a drugstore. You can even buy beauty product like lipsticks or mascaras, some kind of things in a drugstore. So a drugstore sells drug, medicine, or other products. But in British English, we may call this a chemist. Lots of people call this a chemist. Here is deli. This is the long word for deli, but people always say deli. Deli is a kind of shop which also shall like sell food from the farm, really fresh, like deli food. You know like the brand called deli? Yeah, really fresh. Next we got cheesemonger. Cheesemonger is a kind of shop 
with just sell cheese. So we call this cheese monger. And cheese monger, we sell all kinds of cheese. There's also another type of monger which is familiar to you, which is fish monger. We heard fish monger all the time in the market. So fish monger just sell fish, many types of fish, fresh fish. Here is groceries, green groceries, or products produced store. So this type of shop sells some fresh groceries, like vegetables or fruits. In American English, we call this green grocers. And in British English, oh sorry, just mix up the words a little bit here. Let's try this again. In British English, we call this green grocers. In American English, we call this produce store. A store just sells fruits and vegetables. But this store sells lots of products like some candy, fruit, and vegetables, lots of other products. And it's quite large. We will call this a grocery store, but a bigger grocery store is called a supermarket. And here you can buy all kinds of things you like. Books? Yeah, there's even include books in the supermarket too. So remember, a bigger grocery store is a supermarket. Move on to the next kind of shop. Let's see. A shopping mall is even bigger than a supermarket. So a shopping mall or the mall. Shopping mall and the mall are the same. They're both in American English. So you can either call them. Or shopping center is in British English. We usually say shopping center. And if you see some fish or some kind of product like meat sell outside, they will call street market or farmer's market because they sell those kind of fruits and vegetables outside the street and not in a store. And a place where you can buy some tools like a brush, some color, some paint, is called a hardware store in American English and a hardware shop in British English. A place where you can order some flowers and buy some flowers is called a florist. Lots of flowers are here and you can order some flowers. That's why they call florist. A place where you can buy some news or magazine is called a newsstand. Like always, you can buy some news on a newsstand. They don't have any kinds of store like these, you can see, a stand here. They're not exactly like a store, but it's just a stand, and all the news and magazines are displayed on them, which is pretty nice, I think. And here there are all kinds of stores, like all kinds of news and magazines displayed on the table, which you can buy them. Or a news agent. A news agent is like a fast store. It sells all kinds of things, even candy, or even some of the beauty product, or some news also. You can even call this a corner shop. News agent and corner shop are both in British English. It's like a fast store. You go there and you buy something. A place you can buy some jewelry is called a jewelry store in American English. Buy some rings, bracelets, or necklace. But in British English, we call it jewelers. And you notice the difference. The word jewel has two L, but in American English, just one L. See the difference. Two L and one L. A place where you can buy some alcohol is called a liquor store in American English, a liquor store. But in British English, we call this an off license. Off license or liquor store. Buy some alcohol or beer, I think. Here is a sports store, a store that sells clothes, some sport clothes, shoes, or yeah, something related to sport. So there are many names to call this. A sports store in American English, a sporting goods store in American English, and a sports shop in British English. That's all. Let's see the next one. You can buy some clothes to go jogging. Here is a gift shop. A gift shop is kind of shop, maybe you go to Halloween Bay or you go to other times. And they will have a gift shop where you can buy some cards or some gifts to your friends, some souvenirs that are from them. So here are some types of gift shop. Now move on, you know, store is in American English and shop is in British English. So there are some names that is very easy for you. For example, pet store or pet shop. So let's try this example. We either have pet store or pet shop. Next, let's see the next example of this. This is a shoe store or shoe shop. So store and shop are different. So just keep adding words together and there you have it. Electronic stores or electronic shop. Toy store or toy shop. Let's look at more examples. Furniture store 
or furniture shop. Art store or art shop. You know, there are many different examples, but there's one thing you need to remember, which is store is American English, but shop is in British English. So there may be tied to the example. And that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you like this. Bye.